Good morning. Hope you all are keeping safe, taking good care of yourself. Now tell me first thing before we start working. How was your Eid and how was your Raksha Bandhan? I enjoyed. I had a lovely Eid. I had a very nice Raksha Bandhan. But at the same time, I took all the necessary precautions that we are supposed to take. I hope you people also did the same. You did? That's great. We should like we will obviously celebrate the festivals in a like small scale and all. But obviously with that you have to take the precautions because you have to take care of yourself and the other people in your family. Right. Okay. So now the festival time is over. Let us get back to work now. Right. Uh, this week, uh, this week or month, probably uh, I heard you people are going to study about the adaptation in animals and birds. Right. So I thought of twisting the art also a little bit and uh, I have uh, like tried to connect it with the adaptation theory. In this uh, video you will see that uh, I am trying to club two three rainforest birds together. Suppose uh, beak of a token, body of a parrot, the macaw parrot and the tail of a hornbill. So some different bird will come out. Let me see how creative it turns out to be and uh, how interesting it looks to you. And then I'll think of a name also. So this way you can also make a new animal or a bird of your own. Then you can like uh, take the cold region and you can club those animals together. One more interesting thing I've done. I have uh, made an animal with a giraffe's body and uh, sorry, giraffe's neck and body is of some bird with long legs that can walk in a a desert a hump of hump i have taken off camel so this keeping all these things in mind i have uh, made the animal and the bird so you also keep this thing in mind that uh, when you are clubbing two three different body parts of a bird together and if the bird you are making on a branch then remember and uh, like then you cannot make long legs of the bird the feet has to be small only because it is sitting on a branch but suppose if you make want to make a desert bird so then a bird with long legs you will you can club with a, a camel's hump or something so these things you have to keep in mind okay and then just uh, go through all the birds and animals that your aunties will be teaching you in your adaptation topics and all and then club two or three together so bir different birds in uh, together and animals together so don't do like the beak of a bird and the hump of a camel no so if you are clubbing the animals together or birds together so whichever you find easy if you find birds easy you can take that and if you find animals easy, you can take that. I am showing you a sample of both so that your mind can start working on those lines and you can think and draw. So let us also play with that and see what comes up. It is not always necessary that uh, it has to be very flowery and beautiful and all. Art can be very different thing, uh, abstract thing. So let us try and just watch the video carefully. Then you will be like able to do it on your own. Okay, so come on, let us not waste time and start working. Okay, thank you. Uh, children, as we uh, discussed about the adaptation thing, so I am um, going to show you that how I have clubbed the ostrich and the camel and the leopard print together and made a new deformed animal or something you can say. So same way you also have to take two, three animals and club them. And just be careful that I, like I said in the video, that suppose I'm taking a camel. So I have clubbed it with the ostrich because ostrich has also got the same neck, long neck like the camel and same long uh, legs also. So that is why I have taken these two animals. And why I have taken the leopard print because it is somewhat uh, similar to the color of the camel so here i am making the desert animal and let us see what we have to do i have kept the copy in the sleeping direction that is the landscape direction and uh, say about five centimeter from the black border i am 
taking the gap like this and then I'll give it a line here this is the background like in the drawing you have to show some back background area also na? like the sky and all over here and some part has to be the foreground so now the uh, animal that I have created I'm going to make here in the center and it is a desert look so then I'll make those uh, sand dunes and all and cactus right so now for the ostrich what have I done first I'll take a uh, rough like this is the oval for the head then comes the neck so till here I am taking the body of the ostrich right and then from the neck I have taken the camel so the hump of the camel is here right okay now what have I done that I am clubbing the feet also like two leg in the front are of the ostrich and two at the back are of the camel. So I have uh, just I am taking a rough line it becomes easy then after this if you feel that the legs are a little long then you can rub this foreground line okay. So make it a little light. Now this is the basic uh, shape that I have taken for the body here. So back legs are of the camel and the front I am making of the ostrich. So here and just be careful that they have to come on the same level. So just take a rough line like this that this tall you have to make and the feet should end here. Fine. Here. Okay. And the tail again that I have taken is the tail of the ostrich here. Okay. So that ostrich tail instead of the typical camel tail I have taken the ostrich tail. Now this is the rough figure that I have made. Now I will start doing the drawing. So what I will do first two ovals, big ovals because now we are not making very realistic. It is a little cartoonish. So two big ovals for the eye of the ostrich here. Now from the eye I am taking this curve up this is the beak right so here this curve up and it is going like this okay and from this eye the shape of the face will come so this is the front part the beak now I'll keep on giving it shape like this so here is the neck and like I said that the neck has to be a little long as the ostrich has a little long neck so now if you feel so here that this part has to come a little down so see I have rubbed it that is why I am I ask you all to make a rough and very light line now from here the kind of neck of the ostrich is coming and this is the fur area of the bird so later when we color we'll do it in a fur style coloring so here you go for the hump of the camel so now if I feel that the hump has gone to up I'll just rub that line here it goes okay so now because it is an imaginary animal so you can always give it a little shape of your choice make it a little different here fine now this from here I'm making the uh, 
camels uh, this thing where it, the rope is being tied to its neck so this is that area okay and here we go for the now this part is the leg part so i am just trying to make them as long as the ostrich has the legs the legs of the ostrich are a little long so here i am just bringing it down okay so, okay yeah so this becomes the leg of the ostrich here it goes okay and now these are the fingers and long these kind of nails okay now as you can see i have uh, made both the legs of the ostrich you can also like make all the four legs of the ostrich or of the camel it is your choice now here i am going to make that uh, cloth that is there on the camel's hump so here it is okay and these two feet at the back i'll make of the camel so the animal that we are creating might look a little weird but it is okay you are imagining and creating a creature of your own so it is okay it might be a little weird but it is fine fine now the tail like i said that i'll be making of the ostrich so a kind of flower shape over here here and then this part becomes the feathery thing so right now i'm just making the uh, leaf kind of a pattern here and later while coloring we'll give it the feathery look so my camel i think is looking as it it is ready to fly fine so it might look a little weird but i'm finding it interesting now you remember this line that we drew in the beginning this becomes our base line now so here it is like this and because it is a desert uh, so some at the back we can draw this thing and here i'll draw cactus so for the cactus can you see the whole image see the uh, sand dunes kind of a thing i have made or the kind of hilly part now here i am going to add my cactus cactuses are of many kinds i am making the easiest one so that everybody is able to draw it's like inverted u and then from here these extended part you will draw fine so here it is you can draw any other kind of cactus that you know i have drawn this one and now i'll rub the extra lines because the cactus is in front so these lines we had to rub here i'll make some small stone kind of a thing here and the lines that have to be there in the cactus i am drawing a bit but this we'll do with the color later so one cactus here and one 
I'll make here. So it can be again a kind of inverted U here and you go this way and then I'll rub this line so that I can make my cactus here. You can make small cactuses also, big ones and here. This one will be having flower that we'll do with the color and again some stone, small stone sort of a thing and here I can uh, make small cactus here okay now for the sky let us try a little longish uh, cloud not the one that we typically do so a longish cloud here uh, like this okay I'll not bring it too close to the mouth now if you want uh, you can add a small sun over here or if you don't want you can leave it you can just add the clouds your choice and this is the uh, sand area so I am giving it a little this kind of pattern so here my bird animal I don't know <laughs> what it is I have just clubbed it together and it is looking okay because both the this bird and animal have got long legs and has got long neck so they are gelling into each other so while creating your own creature uh, just keep in mind that if you are taking camel that you cannot uh, make the legs of a bird okay like uh, the macaw or that pukun that we have so you have to be very careful while clubbing the animals one bird exam picture also i have made to show you that how can you go about it now uh, comes the outlining and the coloring part so you can uh, use a black sketch pen for coloring or your choice if you want a colored one so let us start outlining it fine I have started outlining and as you can see that I am not using black this time. So clouds are white but sky is blue so we need to outline this and what I am doing I am using two lines like one light blue and one dark blue to make it a little more attractive and different. You can try this but if you don't wish to do two colors you can just take light blue or if you want you can uh, do it with black that is also your choice I was tired of doing it with black so I thought that I'll do the clouds blue rather the whole drawing I'm going to do with different color sketch pen so if you wish you can give clouds a little different style of coloring with two now the mountains these are uh, these uh, dunes again before outlining just remember that lighten up the lines because black color to hides your lines but colored sketch pen just they just does not uh, like give you that look so I am just rubbing the pencil lines so that this color doesn't turn black okay and you can just do a little thick outlining so double it right now here I'll not use uh, this brown because the camel's body will be doing with mustard so here I'll be taking the dark brown okay so this color combination children also you have to keep in mind while doing your work. Now again here I will take mustard because 
the camel's body is that side so it will not merge okay and then again i can take this as the dark brown so i would suggest to do a little broad outline and please don't make these uh, with scale okay because these are not uh, exact triangles now this i'll do dark brown here okay here we go. uh now this ostrich neck we can do a little pink so i'm just again uh, lightening up the lines so that my pink doesn't turn black okay i'll do it a little pinkish now because it is a imaginary uh, animal or bird we are trying to make so a little color of my choice also i'll add this is brown and this is a little black part the furry part so here i'll do black and this i have to leave white so i'll do the outline black okay now this is the uh, rope that is in the neck of the camel this you can do with any other color so this i'm going to do later first of all i am just going to outline the body of the my weird animal but it is not looking weird it's okay i am finding it cute here okay so body will try to keep of the same color so the legs i'll do with this color only here and inside the wheel fill mustard okay so this is the way we have to outline the whole thing this much outlining i have finished and now i am on the cactus so dark green light green two different shades of green you can use for the cactus and again i am reminding a little broad outline we need so this i have done dark green and this cactus i'll do light green So it is isn't it fun to create your own animal or bird i am to enjoying though it is looking funny but still i am enjoying now for the eyes as you all know that we use a 3d marker so don't use a broad sketch pen just use a black 3d marker and in case you don't have a 3d marker use the gel pen okay so here we are done with the basic outlining these small tidbits i'll do uh, later and uh, this cloth piece you can like make very bright because as it is we don't have too much of bright color in the picture so this you can make bright you can take orange or yellow with this and even this rope you will do brown but you can add a little tassels to it those colorful tassels that we make uh, out of wool and all so it will make it a little colorful okay now i'll rub the pencil lines and i'll start the coloring 